Yo, it is your boy, Dr. Benius, a.k.a. Big Ben, making a prediction on UFC 273, Volkanovski versus the Korean Zombie. Great car, man. Decent car, I'll say. Uh, I'll start with my prediction on Gilbert Burns versus Kamza Chemayev. I think Kamza Chemayev easily takes this. Honestly, man, I see Gilbert Burns trying to survive only. Maybe he can go out and try to, like, go for a knockout win or something. But honestly, I see him just surviving. Like, he showed nothing special in that Wonder Boy fight. I think he's getting too hesitant, man. Like, it's like Kamza Chamayev, he's going to be better on the feet and on the ground. So I see Gilbert Burns just trying to survive all three rounds. Who knows? I may be stupid. May I'm underestimating Gilbert Burns. May I'm just joining the hype train of Kamza Chamayev. But Kamza Chamayev's a beast, man. You saw what he did to Lee Jing Liang? I didn't even expect that, man. He did it in the first round, which I didn't expect. And, um, yeah, man, it was, it was crazy. Like, he's a big guy. Skillful guy, man. Like I think he's gonna be a champion. Uh, but I'm again, like I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. I just did, but like, hey, I think Kamsa might have something special, and I think he could get it done in the first round. I maybe Stuart saying, uh, because I think it's gonna be, a th I think it's gonna be a decision. I think Gilbert Burns is just gonna try to run away and all that. So I don't know. I may be stupid not picking a first round knockout or TKO or s submission. But I don't think I don't think Burns is gonna submit it, man. I think Burns is too smart for that. Um. I think he's gonna use his jujitsu. Uh, sorry if I fucking butchered that. But jujitsu, um, he's gonna fucking do that. And um, yeah, I think he's gonna use that only to not get submitted. That's it. That's all I think. And honestly, I think Kamsa Jamayev, he may catch him. He may catch him, but I think it's gonna go all three rounds. And thirty twenty seven for Cam uh, for uh, yeah, Kamsa Jamayev thirty twenty seven. Uh, hopefully it's not though. Hopefully it's an entertaining fight. And I, I just think it's gonna be like a. A messy fight, I think. Um, then after that, it's going to be Volkanovski. Oh, excuse me. It's going to be Sterling versus Jan, too. The long-awaited rematch. I see Sterling actually uh, not winning this. I think he's going to cause some problems to Jan, actually. Like, I see the comments like saying he's going to destroy. Jan's going to destroy Sterling. I mean, Sterling is a clown. He is clown Erling or whatever you want to call him, right? That was corny as shit. But anyways, I think Jan, I think Jan beats him by decision. I don't, I'm not going to say it's super close. I'm going to say it's... I think it's going to be a close fight, but I'm not going to say, like, I think it's going to be 49-46 decision for Jan. And after that, I can't wait for the rematch, by the way. It's supposed to happen, it was supposed to happen in October, but now it's going to happen uh, tomorrow, so I can't wait for it, man. Now, for the main event, Volkanovski versus, versus the Korean Zombie. Honestly, man, I, can, I don't see any way the Korean Zombie wins. No way. Like, this dude is old as shit, man. Honestly. Like, no no disrespect, but this guy... Ugh, like, if he's not... If he if he couldn't win a title... I know I get the same thing for Glover to share. If he couldn't win a title... But I want to say it now. If he couldn't win a title against the Aldo of, like, whatever, like, eight years ago, I don't think he's going to win now. Honestly, I don't... Volkanovski's a new beast, bro. Honestly, I mean, I may look stupid after this. He may pull the upset of Korean Zombie, but Korean Zombie, I don't think he has any. Like, what, is, what does he bring to the table? Like, honestly, I'm being super honest. I'm just, I'm thinking about this logically. I'm not gonna just pick him because just, in, just because he's an underdog, right? I'm gonna pick Volkanovski because he's the champ and he's the champ for a reason, right? Even when Volkanovski was in trouble, he, like every time he's in trouble, like Chad, then Chad met in this fight, he, he got rocked in in the, the Max Holloway rematch, which he won, by the way. He got he got hurt, but he got got back up and and the, in the Ortega fight he almost got submitted, but he came back. Like I don't see any way, like any way the Korean Zombie wins. I think Volkanovski takes it to a uh, decision. A lot of decision fights. I'm just going by decision. I'm just playing to say, huh? But hey, I'm, I'm I think 50-45, 50-44 is my decision. Is my prediction for Volkanovski versus the Korean Zombie. It's gonna be a great card, though. I think.